All right, folks, welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Steve Molsberg Show. Good to be back. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, lots of meetings, transition team, lots of rumors, and uh, you know we'll have to wait and see how it all shapes out. Donald Trump taking exception to the New York Times story and the accepted mantra that his transition team is in disarray and turmoil. He tweeted out that that's not the case. I want to concentrate right now on what they're doing to Stephen Bannon, uh, of Breitbart, formerly of Breitbart. I don't know if he's still uh, heading Breitbart or not, but of course he's the uh, chief counsel to the president-elect and will be to President Donald Trump. They're making him into or trying to a racist, a bigot, a homophobe, an anti-Semite, you name it, and it's baloney. It's all baloney. Let's put this up. This is their primary thing here. This is why they say he's an anti-Semite. Bill Crystal, Republican spoiler, renegade Jew. Now let's look at the next one. You know who wrote this? David Horowitz, a Jew. David Horowitz wrote this piece, a, a staunch supporter of Israel, a, a devout Jew, wrote this piece. We're going to talk to David in just a few minutes. Nobody else has talked to him about this. Dispelling all notions, folks, that Breitbart, uh, that, um, that um, Steve at Breitbart is, is an anti-Semite or any of the other things they're saying. But the media, they're, got, they're nuts. The, the media has gone nuts. Listen to Harry Reid. If Trump is serious about seeking unity, the first thing he should do is rescind his appointment to Steve Bannon. Rescind it. Don't do it. Think about this. Don't do it. As long as a champion of racial division is a step away from the Oval Office, it will be impossible to take Trump's efforts to heal the nation seriously. A champion of racial division? Where is their evidence? What is it based on? What the heck are they talking about? They have no evidence. They hold up that headline, renegade Jew. <laughs> it's insane. They don't tell you what the story's about. David will tell you in a second. Then there's more. Then you go to the gals of the view. Now, if you want an educated opinion, you don't go to the gals of the view. But we went there. Watch. So as we've been saying, the president-elect's pick for chief, st chief strategist isn't doing much to calm a lot of people's nerves. Stephen K. Bannon former executive chairman of Breitbart and alt-right website, claims a history of racist and anti-Semitic and white supremacist posts. And given these allegations, I mean, what do you think it's, how do you, do you think it's helping people get a little, feel a little better? Does it help uh, what President Obama said? I mean, or does it sort of make it harder? Again. Why don't you show me evidence of white nationalists, racist, bigoted, blah, 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 blah. They don't exist. This is insanity. This is taking a human being, this is taking a person and sliming him and targeting him and trying to destroy him. He will not be destroyed. He will thrive. He will thrive in spite of and in a way because of these creeps, these libelous creeps who spew lies about him. And it could happen to any of us. I've had it done to me. I have so many letters on me that I wear as a proud badge of badges of courage. H for homophobe, R for racist, uh, Z for Z, X for xenophobe. I, I wear them proudly because the left are out of their minds. And then there's, well, you talk about out of her mind, whatever she has left of her mind, Joy Behar. You keep hearing is that the country is divided and then he picks them one of the most divisive people in the country. You know, that, that's what's bizarre about it. Yeah. Pick somebody who's a uniter. Well, it would be nice to have a, 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 a counterpart to Rents Priebus who is a little maybe more moderate than Rents Priebus. Right, as, opposed, moderate. as opposed to somebody who represents the alt-right who has on his website headlines like this. Bill Crystal, Republican spoiler, renegade Jew. Why does he have to say that Bill Crystal is a Jew? What does that got to do with anything? If this brain-dead person would read the piece, she would know exactly what it has to do with it. And David Horowitz, who wrote the piece, will explain in just a minute now. I want you to hear, though, somebody who I don't understand anymore. When people really understand what the alt-right is, this, this neo-nationalist, um, uh, neo-Nazi, white supremacy idea that, that Bannon is pushing hard, yeah. It's, I hope they wake up, because if not, we are racist. If that's what we accept and we know it, then we are racist. By the way, uh, Glenn Beck might be interested to know that uh, according to reports, uh, they're going after The Blaze, his website, along with Breitbart and others, 
for being uh, false news sites, and they're going to try to cut off uh, your ability to advertise. So you better watch when you jump on the bandwagon against people, because that bandwagon could include you, uh, Glenn Beck. Now, uh, before we go to David Horowitz, I want you to play that little bit of, of uh, Joy Behar holding up the, the piece that he wrote, that she doesn't say he wrote. I mean, this is, this is insanity. So let's, let's, let's pl hold it up. And uh, I want you to hear what she said again, and then we're going to talk about all of it with the man who wrote the piece exclusively here, coming next, David Horowitz. To somebody who represents the alt-right, who has on his website headlines like this, Bill Crystal, Republican spoiler, renegade Jew. Why does he have to say that Bill Crystal is a Jew? What does that got to do with anything? As I said, she is a brain-dead robot. Anything the left feeds her, she'll repeat. Uh, joining us now is the man who wrote that piece, David Horowitz, founder of the David Horowitz Freedom Center, editor of Front Page Magazine, and author of Progressive Racism. And there's the book on your TV screen. David, welcome. I want to put up uh, the headline uh, of, that they're showing around. She didn't show it, but she said it. Here's the headline from that piece on Breitbart. Bill Kristol, Republican spoiler, renegade Jew. And here's what they never say and never show you. Let's put up the next one by David Horowitz, and this was from May of 2016. You wrote the piece, you wrote the headline, you're Jewish, you're a staunch Jewish supporter. I mean, and they make it seem like this is an anti-Semitic rag piece. No, I, I, it wasn't even uh, solicited from me. I, I didn't get paid for it. This is my piece. Uh, Joy Behar is a blithering idiot. And if she wants to, uh, you know, see a fascist, she should just look in the mirror. Uh, here is, is why she can't even understand what I was writing about. Hillary Clinton and uh, Barack Obama gave nuclear weapons to a regime in Iran that not only wants to destroy the United States, where we're big enough probably to take care of ourselves, but wants to nuke Israel and kill all the Jews there. And that's what they say. And Bill Kristol, by throwing his weight behind the Democrats who have put Israel in the woodshed uh, and who have given nuclear weapons to Iran, had betrayed the Jews. He is a renegade Jew. Uh, it's that simple. She can't see it because she's a renegade Jew. But it, see, at least she comes by it honestly. And that, you know, she was always a uh, leftist and always going to be supporting Hillary and Obama, no matter what a So, David, David, you didn't even write this. You didn't even write this for Breitbart. You wrote this in, on your own at, 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 at the, the, in your own website and front page. And they they took they picked it up. Yeah, well, I sent it to them because okay. I have a bigger audience. <laughs> if you want to see where where Steve Bannon stand, not only can they not find the New York Times used this, my quote, my headline against Bannon. They couldn't find a single thing he said that was anti-Semitic. But it, look, Obama's first act was to uh, go and kiss the robes of the Muslim Brotherhood. He, his first act as president in foreign policy was to go to Cairo and make a, piece, uh, make a speech apologizing uh, for America's sins uh, and embracing an Islamic world uh, which has no problem with the fact that uh, in a, the Iranians and many, many other uh, Muslim countries call for the extermination of the Jews. Uh, what was uh, Trump's first act? And of course, since Bright, uh, Bannon is his chief strategist, he's behind it. His first act is to reach out to Benjamin Netanyahu, take him out of the woodshed, and call Israel a beacon of hope. Every Jew should celebrate the fact that Trump is president and not Hillary, who would stick the knife. A absolutely. In absolutely. But people like Behar and the left, they despise, they despise Netanyahu as much as they despise Bannon and, and Trump. Let me ask you, what, what, have, I never heard of the alt-right until this, this election and, re, and late in the election. Am I just ignorant? I mean, and, and, and accusing? And nothing. I mean, the all right actually, um, I forget the guy who invented, it, invented the name all right. It's just everybody who's not establishment Republican 
And, you know, of course, in the nether regions, there's going to be, there are some anti-Semites and so forth. But Joy Behar and her friends are about to uh, uh, make Keith Ellison a raving, Jew-hating, white-hating, Farrakhanite, racist, Muslim as the DNC chairman. They don't see any contradiction in that. The, yeah. the locus of anti-Semitism in America is the political left on the campuses, harassing Jewish students, uh, attacking Israel, lying, you know, conducting Hamas propaganda. I, w I will tell you, what we are witnessing here is the biggest witch hunt in American history, this witch hunt of, of <laughs> Steve Bannon and anybody, uh, really, who supports Trump. You know, Joe McCarthy, first of all, there were communists, and they were all working for the Soviet enemy. And his sin, and he did have sins, Joe McCarthy, was that he exaggerated. Uh, for example, Owen Lattimore was a sympathizer of uh, Mao Zedong and the Chinese communists. He was a fellow traveler. But McCarthy called him the chief Soviet agent in America, which was false. Um, this Bannon thing is completely invented, totally out of whole cloth. It's just a bunch of sore losers who want to tar and feather, stigmatize uh, the Trump administration and will fight it every step of the way, never give it a ch never look at its actual programs or what it's actually doing, as in this case, supporting Israel and the Jews. Yeah, uh, you, you know what, David, I'm, I'm sure you've been inundated with calls since you wrote that piece from CBS, NBC, ABC, and all the rest of them to, uh, to talk about the, uh, the piece that you wrote that they hold up as an example of anti-Semitism by, by, by Steve Bannon. And of course, the answer is uh, nobody has any interest in speaking to you. Not one. Yeah, it's sad. David, no. God bless you, my friend. I'm glad you're well. We'll speak to you soon, and thank you for coming on. All right, Steve, thank you. Take care. The great David Horowitz, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, it's totally insane. Uh, up next, Newsmax TV political analyst Dick Morris will talk Trump's cabinet picks and more. Don't go away.